Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mythmore server. Uh, first Alan Worm, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go back to the public mine. Uh, now that we've finished the newbie tutorial, let's go ahead and drop that iron ore because it's useless to us. Drop it. No, you can't drop it within the city. That's nice. It's kind of weighing us down, right? Let's go ahead and right click, drop. All right, here we go. We're going to run all the way back right there to our public mine. And I'm going to actually really show you what to do. Okay, you got your log here. We're going to create a mallet. We're going to make a small anvil. And we're going to make some nails. If you push X, you auto run, by the way. Okay, uh, that kind of helps relieve your tension in your, in your left hand for all your right hand or mouse users. Let's go ahead and reset our video timer restart let's keep it to 10 minutes we're running back to the mine okay now i noticed that we got a pumpkin okay pumpkin when we f we can eat the pumpkin now but remember we're still in our first hour if we click that off let's go to menu let's go to hud settings and spell effects still no spell effects there is a, where is our little, sp our spells, where'd they go to? Is it hiding somewhere? Nope, where are they at? There should be, I don't even see where they are, behind here? Nope, okay. Well, it was gonna, there's three little icons that show you all the three different spells that you have cast. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, well, you started the forge without us. And we wanted to learn how to start a forge. So let's go ahead up here and start this forge so you know how to do it in case. You know what? Let's just kind of be a jerk and snuff this one out. Let's go ahead and right click. Oh, there's that bug again. Okay, let's double click the flint and steel and we're going to snuff it. Sorry, buddy. It's only going to be a for, for a short bit. Okay, flint and steel. You have your forge. Let's. You make kindling. When we know uh, that kindling, one point three five. Right click on it and light. Oh, not enough kindling. So we need to make just a little bit more kindling. So bring your log into one side. Okay. Select kindling. Make a kindling. Here you go. Oh, he got all, got all angry at me. <laughs> You're on YouTube, though, buddy. All right, let's right click, let's light our forge. There you go. Let's right click, let's open our forge. See what we got going on here. Okay, <laughs> oh, I made him angry. All right, let's go ahead and, um, <laughs> oh shoot. Sorry, I feel kind of bad in case he had, um, what's in this BSB? Oh, wood scraps, perfect. So let's take some wood scraps, let's drag and let's, take five pieces okay and let's combine the wood scraps to add fuel to our fire so activate uh, highlight click um, hold shift and click the bottom right click combine activate again and we're going to add fuel to the forge by activating our wood scraps right click on it and we're going to burn and that's going to let the forge burn longer okay so now we need to Mine some ore. Okay, so we're going to click on the iron ore. We're going to go ahead and mine a couple times. It's going to drop in front of us. We're going to op open this little bin. Okay. And we're going to just pretend that we mined all this ore. And we're going to drag it over to the forge. And the forge can only hold 27 or 28 ore pieces. And you can see here this guy is already putting a whole bunch of ore pieces in here. I hope you don't mind that we're going to... Oh, he just took it out. <laughs> Must be angry at us. Did he say? Did it say? Yeah. Uh, large anvil repairs the large anvil. Okay, let's go ahead and drag you into there. We can actually just go ahead and drag the lumps. So let's go ahead and drag these lumps too. Because they're here. And they're, they might not be here when you play. Um, but we're making lumps anyway. So iron ore takes, depending on the quality of the forge, it's going to take anywhere between five to 10 minutes 
this ore is going to warm up and it's going to become refined into iron lumps. Uh, and it's just a waiting game. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. Remember, this is not so much a tutorial as it's your ability to just kind of uh, replicate how to play in your first hour on the Mythmore server. Uh, it can be a little tedious, I apologize. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and build our mallet. So let's open our crafting window. Uh, let's drag our carving knife down in here. Okay, with our log, we're going to go ahead and drag your log into the other window. And we're going to make two shafts. Okay, one, two. We're making two shafts. Boom, check mark. Let's make one more. Now, I want to learn how to make a mallet. I can go to the Wormpedia and I can type in mallet. And it will tell me, oh, this is what I need to create a mallet. I need a shaft and I need a mallet head. Or I can go ahead and use the in-game crafting recipe. Right here on the crafting window on the left side is the recipe. All these recipes that you can, that all these things that you can make. Now you can use a search bar. You can, oh, click on the search, type in mallet. And look what we need for the mallet. We need a shaft and we need a mallet head. Well, if you double click that mallet head, it will tell you that you need a carving knife on a shaft. All right, so we made a shaft. We need to make one more shaft. I almost made that one. Almost made it. Let's do it again. Four more minutes. Let's go. Nope. One more time. You can see every time I fail, my the weight of my wood goes down. Oh, you see how that ore just turned into lumps? Perfect. Okay, so I did the shaft. I'm going to expand the shaft. I'm going to drag one into the window. I have my carving knife already there. I'm going to make a mallet head. I click on the mallet head. I'm going to make it. Here we go. If I click on the skills tab here, it's telling me my carpentry is five. Perfect. Okay, so I made the mallet head. I'm gonna Now I need to make the actual mallet. So I'm going to take the mallet head. I'm going to drag it into one window. And this shaft, you see how the weight of that shaft is 0 0.80 now? Because I used it, I can't craft. So if I try to create, you know, it says there's not there's not enough material. So I'm gonna. That's why I made two shafts. This other one that's 1.0. I'm gonna drag that into the other window, and it's a 52 chance percent chance. I'm gonna. Let's go ahead and do it a couple times in case it fails. It will automatically start again. See, failed, but it's already starting again. And perfect. We did it. We made our first mallet. We made our first tool. Congratulations. <laughs> Round of applause. Now we need to make an iron uh, small anvil. Okay, so we have our lumps. And you can notice these lumps are glowing from the heat. Okay, all these kind of dark, uh, dark red. So let's go ahead and take a couple. So I'm going to click. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to highlight. Okay, in addition, I can just take the whole... The whole stack by just clicking the top part stack, dragging it over. So now I have 34, but this is only one kilogram, and I know it takes more than one kilogram to make a small anvil. So if I opened up the Wormpedia and I click, I type in, oop, not navel, that's Freudian slip, anvil, I need two kilograms of iron lump, okay? So I need to make a bigger. Here's the great thing is I can click and drag this entire thing into the window and I can click the combine like we learned how to combine. Ah, it's not hot enough. It needs to be hotter. Okay, see how this one is only searing? It is searing hot and this was glowing. So let's get rid of the searing hot and let's try to combine again. All right, there you go. And these ones are not hot enough. So we have this glowing from the heat one. Let's go ahead and fill that with some more ore. Uh, it's not glowing anymore. It's searing hot. So let's put it back. Okay. Let's put it back. And let's wait for it to... There we go. You see how it changed to glowing from the heat? We've got one minute, guys, to make our, our small anvil. Let's give it a little time to warm up. Okay. We're going to drag our mallet into one side of the crafting window. And as soon as this is warm enough... 
Mm, I'm impatient. Let's try it again. So let's take, you see this one's 29 kilograms. Let's drag that into our inventory. Let's drag it over to the window and it gives me small anvil. Here we go. Let's click it a couple times. Let's make our small anvil. Mm, small anvil. Boom. We got it the first time. Cancel those other ones. We got a small anvil. Let's put that back in there. On the next episode, we're going to learn how to make uh, uh, large nails to make our house. All right.